What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am a sweaty freaking mess, so we're gonna get away from this angle, but today we're talking about this girl right here. Let's get into it. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we are talking about, we're reviewing my 03 Cobra. Now, I gotta give some backstory. This car is far from stock. So everything I'm seeing is in specific to this car and mine is, like I said, very, very polar opposite compared to most Cobras. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, right off the bat, obviously the, the elephant in the room, not me, <laughs> but no, the one thing a lot of people think about these cars when you hear 03, 04 Cobras, you think money, man. These things are money. And that is very, very true. Now, I was fortunate enough to pick this car up in August of 2020 from uh, a buddy of mine named Adam out in Ohio. I got the deal of the century on this car. I'll be completely transparent. I bought this car with 80,000 miles, clean title. Guess, just take a guess in the comments. Pause the video, throw out some numbers. What do you think? And it's a black coupe. So coupes tend to go for a little bit more money. You know, the, this is going up in August of 2022. So depending on when you're watching this, the market right now is super crazy. But yeah, you guys wanna know? I paid 13,500 running, driving, and no, not a roller. Exactly, not exactly how you see it because I've done some stuff to it, but almost how you saw it. I'll put up a picture on the screen right now of what she looked like. But yeah, guys, the these cars are expensive, man. They are very, very expensive. Today, uh, I saw a roller in Michigan, the guy was asking 11.5 and that's just a roller guys no trans no engine so it's pretty wild how expensive these have gotten now why am i bringing it up in a review because that plays a major factor my personal opinion and i'm going to get backlash on this i personally you know again i gotta put that disclaimer out there just my opinion my opinion doesn't matter but you're watching the video so you kind of care <laughs> um i would not pay more than twenty five thousand dollars for these vehicles unless you're a collector, you're trying to make money. I think getting one under 25,000, it's a really good bang for the buck in terms of performance. The reason why I'm saying 25,000 is because nowadays that you could get into a boosted Gen 1 Coyote or you can get into a Gen 2, like an S550. And those cars, as most of you are probably aware, are incredible bargains You know, with the performance they have, 10 times better interior, all that fun stuff. But you're not buying this car because of the interior or any of the features. You're buying this for a crazy raw experience, something that's unlike really much else out on the road. Um, I like to compare, and this is a terrible comparison, but this Mustang would be, in my opinion, like the Carrera GT of Porsches. Like this is the Carrera GT of Mustangs. It does not get much more raw than this. The 07 and newer GT 500s are raw. I've been in a few, but nothing quite compares to how this thing drives, the feedback, I mean, everything about it. Now, this car is on Viking coilovers and they are stiff as heck. Um, obviously, we have the 15 inch rear. This thing does have a built SRA in the back. So I feel every single bump, it is a raw, raw driving experience. Um, next up, let's talk about reliability because that's a huge thing when it comes to reviews. I don't see too many people talking about this. These cars are extremely expensive to fix, especially if something breaks. It, the, really, the motor. The motor is where things just go absolute crazy. Um, knock on wood, I have not had any issues. Uh, this car, I don't really know too much about its past, so I don't think it was super beat on, but I rarely drive this car. I've driven it. This is my third time out this year, and we're in August. I've put like 400 miles on it in the past two years. But when I do get to drive it, it's a treat. It's a full-time job trying to kind of control this thing just because of the way it's set up. And I love it that way because it just makes you feel so like one-on-one -on -one with the car. It's really hard to describe guys. If you've never driven one, I can't put it into words. You just gotta go experience one. If you're in like Mustang groups on Facebook, post. See if you can find someone just to go for a ride. You don't even have to drive it. Just being in the passenger seat, you're gonna understand just how analog it feels. But yeah, guys, so driving. Obviously with the suspension, it's crazy rough. We have the solid rear axle under here. You guys probably can't see that because it's somewhat sunny out but it is a great 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 car i like i said wouldn't spend more than 25 on one of these because hey you want to make it your own right unless you're someone that wants to keep it stock then you should buy a super low mileage one consider it an investment and it will just go up in value now this is really not a traditional review i'll be honest with you guys because i try to be transparent right um in terms of the motor when i first got the car 
It was about $3,000 because one of the most common issues on these cars is the fuel rail pressure sensor. They're known to go out. You can get a Kenny Bell boost disc and put it in there to help kind of even out the flow of the fuel. But when that goes, you start running into issues. The car was almost undrivable. It would just stop and stall all the time. And the car would make pops and bangs. And up because it was just dumping a just a ridiculous amount of fuel i mean you stood behind it you could almost get high <laughs> but i'm gonna throw in some clips of how this car sounds because that's what you guys want to hear i think in terms of mustangs the coyotes can sound really good but so many people just do the typical long tubes off-road axle and roush axle backs and it's just ridiculously loud um don't get me wrong i like loud cars this car's stupid loud but it has the right tone. It's deep, it's not super raspy, at least in my opinion. I know in videos it might come across like that, but in person, guys, this thing is deafening, but it's like in your chest. Uh, if you watch, I'm gonna put up a clip right now. I put this phone over 10 feet away outside in the winter and I did a cold start and it shook the phone. outside which is crazy so that just tells you like the base just how deep this exhaust tone is but yeah guys that is kind of my rough review of this car um i will put up like i said some clips in between here of me driving it but i don't want to bore you guys to death i, I highly recommend getting one for the right price and just having the expectation that it's going to cost you money and that you should buy it cash because if you finance it you're going to have to pay for fixes and little things here and there but here let me show you guys the interior I mean, pretty minty, man. These seats are so good. I love this car, guys. I can't stress it enough. You know, I've been neglecting it. You guys should have seen. I think I can show you up front. We still got some cobwebs on the, the very, very front. There's some stuff I want to get repainted just to make it look perfect. But yeah, look at that. Cobwebs everywhere, man. This poor girl, she just sits. But man, does she look good doing that. So I'm rambling, guys. Really short review. I'm sure there's other ones on YouTube. Everyone's seen like... Uh, that dune and blues review and he goes a little bit more in depth but if you guys are on the fence about this car i recommend getting one but do it the right way and i will catch y'all in the next upload peace out guys